So two days ago, downstairs from this very studio, I attempted to demonstrate a Thomas Pridgen lick. And going back and looking at it, I got it wrong. <laughs> Do you think you can figure out where? We're gonna go back now and watch that lesson. And if you figure it out before I reveal it, leave a comment below and let me know. Okay, let's check out the lesson. Hello! Today we're breaking down the licks of one of my favorite drummers we haven't touched in a few years. It's one Mr. Thomas Pridgen, and he's got a quintuplet lick that appeared on his Instagram in like the last two weeks. There's one of those videos where you're like, ah, I need to save this, I need to get into this. So today, back to the old school, bread and butter 80-20 drummer lesson. We're gonna break down that lick, we're gonna show you a few ways to play it, and then we're gonna show you how to play it in a few different contexts, so you can hopefully make it your own. And I'll show you exactly how I would practice this in real life. Today on 80-20, we're going back to what got us to the dance. Thomas, Pridgen Lick, right here you guys, stay tuned. And if you're watching this lesson and you feel like, hey, I would like to transcribe this, I would like to let you know you don't need to do that because we've done it already, it's free. Just click the link below the player, enter your email address in on the next page and we'll send that right to you. Chapter one, get to the lick already. So guys, let's first roll tape of that Thomas Pridgen lick and we'll try to isolate the little bit that he's doing. Okay, it may surprise you to know that that little piece of that entire lick caught my eye, but it did. And let me show you exactly what he's doing. It's pretty simple. When I watched this on my iPhone, I was like, ah, snare kick, floor time, floor time kick, and that's the whole thing. And then I watched again, and I saw that the right hand is the first to hit the floor time. Watch it. It's this. Of course, you don't have to stick it the way Thomas does. And something that occurs to me to do is to just switch hands with it. Ah, but here's the rub. If you cross the right over the left and try to play a snare rim shut, that's not gonna work super well. So I got two options for you. The first is play the right on the high rack tom. So. Second option is play the right hand on the close hats. So. And you can alternate back and forth. And pretty much every surface except for the snare, you can switch stickings. So when you switch, it'll be When we come back, we'll talk about how to use this in a triplet and also a 16th context, but that's the lick. Hey, did you figure it out? Oh, you might be wondering what I'm doing here, beaming in from the future in a different studio. Well, remember we started out this lesson saying I'd actually gotten the Thomas Pridgen lick wrong? So let's rerun that clip again. Let's see if you can see where I got it wrong. Did you pick it up that time? So as I transcribed it, the lick was But, listen to the recording again. There's a kick double at the end of this. It's actually a six note lick. Always slow it down, guys. So I want you to know, I want you to know that the licks in the remainder of this lesson are all still completely valid. And even by learning this Thomas lick wrong, I think we figured out something kind of cool. But I would be remiss if I didn't show you some variations on the actual Thomas lick. So remember when we were playing in five, we were doing this. You can 100% still do that with a lick in six, but check out this mother.
etc. Anyway, now let's return to the lesson of two days ago. Okay, so as usual here at 8020 HQ, now that we've broken down that lick, showed you a couple different ways to play it, I wanna show you how to get into and out of it. Thomas is doing his own thing. I wanna show you how you can do your thing and take that little piece of it and put it in. Let's do it. So guys, I'm gonna show you how you might incorporate this into a 16th note context. And I'll play the whole thing for you first and then I'll show you the little bit that I've improvised onto the front. So it's gonna sound like this. You can do other things with this, but let's talk about the first part. So that's just a six stroke roll, a kick drum, and then just a sweep down the toms. So putting that all together, and that sets you up perfectly to go into the lick. And hopefully you don't drop your stick. If you want to resolve that on the one, Another thing I've been kind of playing with this is sort of John Bonham, Steve Gadd thing, where you're playing, right? Like Stairway to Heaven. Except you're interrupting it, so you're going. So you could also build a look like that. I'll give you one more, it's gonna go like this. See if I can remember that. So the first part is after the high tom hit. So whole thing. And those are just a couple ideas you can play around with in order to play this over sixteenths. So for the sextuplets, we're gonna do something pretty similar to what we did with the 16ths. We're gonna start it out with this. So let's break that down really quickly. It starts again with a six stroke roll. Next it's, so. Then there's a kick double and it goes on. So whole thing now. That's the beginning of the lick. Then we go into that Thomas Pridgen five lit thing. Just prove that you can make any odd length phrase eventually line up with the one. It's just a matter of how you do it. When we come back, we'll talk about how to use this as a fill and alternate playing a groove and playing this lick. See you then. Okay, and before our last segment, just a quick reminder that all of this lesson, all the non-improvisational parts will be transcribed for you. Just click the link below this player and download them for free on the next page. Okay, in our last segment, we're just gonna talk about how you might throw this into a fill, a little filly fill. Gonna do a 16 note-ish one and we're gonna do a triplet-ish one. Let's go. So, what if we want to play this as a fill? What if we want to use it to break up a groove? Funny you should ask. We're going to do two examples of that. One is with sixteenths, one is with sextuplets. So for our sixteenth note groove, let's just do something like three, four. If you want to make that simpler, you can just play three, four. And we're going to practice alternating between that and a fill that includes the Thomas Pridgen quintuplet thing. Three, four. So if that's a little above your head, we can slow it down and make it more basic. Let's just do eights. Two, three, four. So 
So with a lot of these things, if you're having trouble with them, it may just be a matter of slowing it down. If you can play it half as fast cleanly, eventually you'll be able to play it twice as fast cleanly. Now, let's do the same thing with kind of a triplet groove. And that's how you get the gig. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's back to the old school. I wanna thank Mr. Thomas Pridget for the inspiration both over the years and this week. And dudes, I always enjoy these. See you again real soon in another lesson of the week. Just clink the lick, just clink, just clink the lick. It's 150 degrees in here, you guys. Also, I just interviewed Mike Mitchell yesterday in this room. It was uh, intellectually exhausting. Coming soon. It's coming soon, you guys. All right.